Oh. Good morning guys. We're here at Burton Constable in Mayor Hall. Yeah, we're in Yorkshire again. Uh, Burton Constable Hall is the home of the Constable family. Uh, they've lived here for 700 years. Uh, it's an Elizabethan house with beautiful 18th and 19th century interiors. So come along, let's get inside and have a look. Let's go. Built for Sir John Constable, Burton Constable Hall is a large Elizabethan country house. It is nestled in the beautiful Yorkshire countryside. It has splendid, if somewhat tired, 18th and 19th century interiors. It stands in glorious parkland designed by Capability Brown. This fine Elizabethan house is dominated by the Great Hall. It rises the full height of the house. The grand tour portrait of William Constable and his sister Winifred, painted by Anton van Maron, certainly holds your gaze as they look down upon you. The splendid, huge red glass lantern that you cannot fail to notice was installed in the 1830s. In the original Elizabethan house, there was a much more modest staircase. However, following completion of the first floor long gallery, a more elaborate staircase was installed. This was designed by Timothy Lightoller in the 1760s. The candle fittings you see on the handrails are a very rare survivor from this period. The vibrant yellow scheme which you see on our video was only completed in 1972. This was chosen by the late gay Chichester constable it was to replace the dull grey blue walls that were there before. There are many gilt frame paintings and a superb life size statue of Flora and a matching one of Livia Augusta, both by John Cheer, that date to 1765. They cost the princely sum of 10 guineas each. From the hallway, our tour continues. We explore a couple of very beautiful rooms on the ground floor. I think the room we appreciated the most is the Chinese room. This room is on the far left hand side. This room was created after a visit to the Brighton Pavilion in the late 1820s by Marianne, Lady Clifford Constable. The walls are hung in Chinese wallpaper and there are the most amazing carved dragons, one each side of the window and one above the central light. They are gilded and were carved by Thomas Brooks of Hull. There is also a beautiful carved dragon chair. This room is absolutely splendid.
We now enter the great drawing room. This room was redecorated in 1840 and it was done to look extremely ornate using strong colours with lots of gilded highlights. The walls are covered in bright yellow silk which sadly has now faded. The room still has the ability to stop you in your tracks. You cannot help but gaze around at the beautiful detailing. Next we enter the chapel which is adjacent to the great drawing room. This is a beautiful space decorated in very rich colours. We now carry on up the staircase and enter the long gallery. This was completed by the end of the 16th century. It has the most splendid Neo-Jacobean plasterwork frieze, which is painted with the background in a bright red. It looks wonderful with each character being different. During the Victorian era, the long gallery was used as a social space. Amateur theatrical productions were done here, along with soirees, which must have been wonderful. Interestingly, there is a throne-like chair in the Long Gallery. This was said to have been used by Queen Victoria on her visit to Hull. We now view a series of bedrooms, including the French bedroom, which was occupied by Rosina, the second Lady Clifford Constable. She, we were told, loved to spend money and she furnished this room most lavishly with a French mahogany bed dressed in silk. From the long gallery we take an upper passageway which has window views down into the Great Hall. There is also an Edwardian bathroom which has remained unchanged. Again, whilst these rooms are magnificent and you cannot help but marvel at the splendour in which these people lived, you are also aware of the decay that has occurred in this property. Everything is rather tired and rather faded, but nonetheless still very beautiful. The last room we see on this tour is the magnificent dining room. In the original Elizabethan house, this room was the parlour. It is inspired by designs commissioned from Robert Adam. The design features around the figure of Bacchus, the god of wine. It is also inspired by the excavations at Pompeii and Herculaneum. The overmantel plaque of Bacchus and Ariadne 
riding on a panther is wonderful and the overall feeling in this room is one of pure opulence. The room was, we were told, originally painted in a shade of pink, but this wonderful shade of green was added, which we think looks absolutely perfect. So that concludes our visit to Burton Constable. Yeah, it's a beautiful hall. I mean, we've really enjoyed looking around there. Uh, lots of rooms to see. Uh, very pleasant, knowledgeable staff, which is always a huge bonus. So uh, yeah, we had a little tour around the outside. So there's a few pictures there to see as well. Yeah, it's lovely, yeah? Yeah, really lovely. My favourite was the... Uh... Stairwell, the staircase. Yeah, we loved the staircase, the beautiful vivid yellow. Apparently that was only repainted to yellow in the 1970s. Uh, so originally it was a bluey grey, so it was nice to see a more recent update. So we hope you enjoyed that vlog, guys, and uh, we hope we find you well today. Uh, it'd be great if you could give us a... Like, subscribe and ring the bell. Ring that bell. Take care, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.